All right, guys, what is up? This is Nick. We are back. Day, episode two, not day. It's still clearly I'm wearing the same shirt as last video. So it's same day, episode two of the kind of speed run to 56. Because we got to get, we got to get awakened because this character is just so much better awakened. <laughs> and it just looked way more fun awakened. So we just got to get there. So, um... The inventory has gotten full, so I need to clean this up eventually here. Um, I also collected some stuff that I shouldn't have out of here from my... Um, I think it was from, like, overall rewards. Because <laughs> I have these earrings and what and ring, these Kaposhia, uh stuff. So, we, we, we're, we're a little decked out here. We got 192 AP for a level 23. But, let's get into this. We've got our first boss for here and then i'll probably kill some stuff on the way back try to get to 24 and then we'll we'll cut ahead because we're cl we're close to like an actual grind spot which is which which is good i mean okay okay <laughs> dastard beg is is like a three shot okay nice and easy now oh, i gotta talk to black spirit so i can get the half back okay so complete that collect experience uh, we have an inventory spot expansion, so that's good. I need that. And grab the permanent token quest. And so we need to go back and recover the wedding ring. I have a couple of quests to turn in as well. So I'll just do all that here. Uh, the Naru Morningstar. Actually, that's actually fairly good for the free, like, thing they give you. Move it up here. Yeah, see, I have, like, all these Ultra Imp Trumpets, the Broken Goblin Amulets. I have all that stuff that I need to sell and get rid of. I did watch a video on Nova um, Awakening and some of the skills and stuff like that. And they look fairly solid. It looks like it'll be a fairly fun class to use. And so I'm looking forward to that. I thought... Okay, I think you had to hook... I had to hook, like, far left. But that's all right. We'll collect a little experience here. Really this character, I just don't like... I, I like the Awakening when I get there. I just don't really like the, the way this character is built out with um, pre-Awakening. Like the shield version of her. Just not my favorite. And obviously, obviously I can come around to it as we unlock skills, but the skills that I have right now are just, I just don't really like them. But the the quick movement from mob to mob with um, the awakening looks like it's going to be solid. Looks like something I can get behind. Like, I love my Sork, but the Sork's rotation to rotation is kind of the same button spammy madness. So, hopefully... Hopefully this is a little bit different. Okay. Well, that alter him. I don't know how close I want to get. Like, that's... That attack has some really good range. I do like that, but... As I've tinkered around with this, I really just need to get to Awakening, because this... This is just not... Not the greatest of... Um... I just don't I just don't think I like the free awakening which is fine because it appears as though PvE wise which is mainly what I do awakening is pretty much you stay awakened and that's about it there's a couple of skills that it looks like you can use out of awakening um, that are useful but overall it's just a lot of awakened stuff come in here we get to fight everything that we kited in here. Oh, nothing... Usually, like, five things are running there after you. Okay, so... My favorite little, like, quest thing here. The rewards are not great, but it's, like, the simplest thing to do. There's this dude up here... That gives you a quest. Easily completed. Take potions. And the gold bar. Like, free 100k doing absolutely nothing and then this guy here gives you a side quest 
just some XP, and it's not a whole lot of XP, but still, it's stuff you have to do anyway while you're while you're doing her stuff. So nice and easy, and I believe, yeah, I think I completed it. She gives you a side quest as well. Um, so she gives you the paying off the debts quest. Let's go back and we'll sell off stuff and see what everything's worth. Uh, why is it not auto pathing? Okay. Can this thing stop being weird? Uh, but yeah, we gotta we gotta get to there. So I will probably I might grind some out tonight just to see how far I can get because. I believe we get back here, and then it sends us down here somewhere. Does it send us to Galishnek? Just is, No, it sends us to Moretti Plantation, and then from Moretti Plantation, you can either head Castle Ruins or Galish. Um, just because I think I've covered it a lot, this portion of the game. I've done a lot of videos in this portion. I might skip it and head... Next episode will be, like, the boss after Calfian. So that's, like, mid... 30s i think just to kind of get us to towards awakening a little bit quicker get us to a little bit more exciting episodes than me doing doing what i'm doing here i think that's probably best you'll get a little bit of the the bottom stuff here in this episode but overall i'm gonna cut what i can after this video is over i think that i think that works out so i want the one with the most around defeating defeating monsters that's the one we want okay so we need to go find jordine ducas but that's not what i want to do right now i want to go up to the market and like normal these episodes they have like a general theme of i'm going to try to show you know monsters you know mob farming and stuff like that but but there'll be some other stuff in here like like usual kind of ad lib it at times but i do need to work on getting um money because obviously i only have 51 51 i saw 51 million so that's actually i mean it's not a lot but i do need to work on i need to get working on that i'm gonna throw all of this in here and i forgot to state it in the last episode i did end up getting an xbox series s um a guy on eBay posted it up. Actually, a guy like that I know was selling one on eBay. Um, I know him from like the card community on 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 Instagram, and so he gave me a. I traded him a card and like um, really? gave him retail price, and he was all cool with it. So I did end up picking one up. Didn't have to sit around and wait for a drop. I'm still looking for a Series X, so hopefully I can get one of those, and then I'll just sell my Series S for a discounted price to someone just to get rid of it and recoup some of the cash but yeah i am still looking for a series x but yeah okay we're gonna cut ahead here um i think we'll be at the farm when we come back i think with the scarecrows and stuff i'm pretty sure all right i was right we are here at moretti plantation and so let's get into it this is actually i, I like this place early game too because it has it has all those um kind of weird quests there's like five quests you can accept here and so it works out actually fairly well why are you running away why are you running away oh my god stop look come back here field lookout dude come here dude dude i can't do any damage to that field lookout what is happening why is there so many more field look they add more field lookouts there's, like, less Scarecrows and more Field Lookouts. And they, like, run away way too easily. They're, tr they're, uh, let's see. They're AI, like, um, why is it not attacking? Their AI, like, determination to attack is, like, completely, like, messed up. It, like, is a really short pathing. Like, is he already running? No. He's not. Oh, let me swing. Dude, 
They're like just spread out enough that it's kind of annoying to do a rotation on here. Because you can do a circle around here, because obviously the, the plantation is a circle, but this place is kind of awkward because they're like spread out just enough that it's kind of hard to do it that way. Okay. There's 27, 30. I need to get better with the, like, spacing of my attacks. Because right now I do too much of the singular, like, R2 of it. So I need to, I need to mess around and get better with that, but... We need to get six more Scarecrows. Are these things even giving me that good of experience? Eh, like a half a percent they're giving me. So yeah, we're gonna get to 24 here. Two more Scarecrows, here comes one more Scarecrow, and there's one right over there. So we'll kill these two guys. Dash our way over here. Take him out. Okay, so now we just need to ask about our rune D, which was the main quest here. But there's all the side quests here, and I'm like, if you're already here, you might as well do them. kind of wish it didn't take so long to put your stupid thing away. Okay, so let's see. We got this dude's quest. Let's turn those in. And I mean, they're like easy. You should probably farm there anyway to begin with. Did I not kill all the Scarecrows I need to kill? Why is that? Hold on. Complete this side quest. What we'll pop up? Um, complete that as well. Complete that. Okay. Uh, take revenge against the... Thought I... Hmm. Unless you don't turn... Do you not... Oh, you don't turn it into him. That's what it is. Okay. That makes sense. You turn it into the other lady. Okay, so that works. Why is it telling me to go out to the middle? Why is it telling me to go out here? Okay, I think I think that's all we need to do here. Unless they're still giving... Eh, they give decent XP, but not quite enough. I mean, it's, it's enough, but it's... I don't like the mob layout here. It's like a decent place to kite if your character... A little, a little bit better than what I feel like this character has. I need to mess with the skills too, but haven't done that yet. But let's get to Alrundi. I'll probably get to at least the castle part, and then I'll I'll jump back in there. Okay, so I was a little wrong. We're not we're not quite at uh, at Alrundi yet, but we need to destroy the barricades and kill some rebels here. Um, so yeah, pretty easy. We got the barricades. Actually, nice that there's not a. Mi I remember when there used to be a million people here, and it used to be like absolutely impossible to complete this quest because there was just so many people that none of the barriers and none of the like watchtowers they were never up, and so it was just an absolute nightmare. But yeah, that's those that already done. So we got to kill flags. I forget which was the toughest. There was one that was like really hard to do because there was just nothing to do. Like there was just nothing of that. I can't remember. Maybe it was the flags. It could have been the flags, but I don't quite remember which one it was. Maybe it was the rebel supp supplies right, like right there. I'm starting to get a little more used to playing, but I still got a long way to go. It's still... I still know I look, like, super clunky and super awkward when I play the game. I know it looks like... probably looks, like, really bad, to be honest. Um, but I think once I get to, like... Once I get back on my Sork and I get more playing time with my Sork, I think we'll get... I'll get more back into the fluid... Um, uh, what am I trying to say? The fluid motion of actually playing BDO. Because it's a lot of just ebb and flow. Like, you just kind of flow through your attacks. You don't miss... You don't whiff your attacks like I just did. But yeah, you just kind of flow through your attacks. But I don't feel... I don't know. Maybe I just don't know the combos early game for this character. 
But I don't feel like there's a whole lot of, like, flow through these attacks, but... Might be just how it goes with any character you just start. We're up to 25 now. Guess we need two more supplies. Or one more supply, looks like right here. Is that everything we need? Oh no, we need two more barracks and one more watchtower. So there's a watchtower over here. No, man, maybe a barracks. Clean those guys up. See, that's like my that's like my favorite attack. I mean, it doesn't necessarily. It's not heavily, I can't use it every time, but it's by far, like, the most effective attack that I have so far that I know. It's like the sprinting into the B, like that, that shoulder slide. Why did that do no? Hello? That barracks like Zeus? Hello? Okay. Let me kill this guy up here and then check my back. There's one guy coming. Okay, let's summon up the Black Spirit. I did throw a couple of things into the central market you guys saw, but I didn't sell anything big yet, which I do need to do um, at some point. So we did pick up Naru earrings. I'm going to assume those are better than what we've got. Are no, they're not? Well, they're going to be better than the other earrings, right? E well, yeah, well, the binder is accuracy, so I'll have to look. For now, I'll keep it, but I'll have to look. It depends. I don't know if... I don't know if this character is... Like, the Sork, it's important that I had accuracy. I don't know about this character, if that's important. That's something I have to worry about. Let's go to the... Well, I guess you only have to kill 55, as I just deal with the worst whiff of 2020 right there. Or 2021 right there. Yeah, I might as well kite him up right there and slam into him with the shield. But yeah, I guess not too many kills needed here. But we're still going to go and do one loop at the thing up here. Despite not needing to. We're going to. You ever have that, like, little tickle in your nose? That's what I have. I don't know what it is. My nose is just like... It's almost like someone's running a feather underneath my nose. It's real weird. It's like a real weird sensation. Okay, enough, enough of that. This place. I like this place where El Rindy is. It's, it's a decent farm spot. There's decent mob density. So I think, like, that attack I probably should use. I think that's... I don't even know what that is. I need to do more with the with the axe. Like this attack, too. There's some really good attacks that I probably need to be mixing in. That's probably the best attack right now that I need to use to go mob to mob, as I totally whiff again. I need to work on my accuracy, because, I, dude, I whiff way too much. Yeah, I guess that's what I should do to go to go mob to mob. Because um, if I... You can do this, and then I can always shield bash into him if it, would, if it didn't even do the shield bash first. Also got to work on the button combos for or for controller cuz they're a little awkward. There's like a there I don't know. I don't think they fixed it. There's like a little timing that you got to get down. Otherwise it's just an awkward heap of mess. Okay. Let's just go right back up the middle. But yeah, I think that's a that's a good one that I need to use is this X. The kind of... Why did it not do it that time? There we go. The, like, X where it pulls me forward. Because it can really help uh, move mob to mob. It's probably my best mob moving... Mob to mob moving um, ability right now. It's not overly great because it still takes time to throw it down. But there is some combos out of it. Like, you do it... And you pull forward, and then you go into different. You can go into different combos, which is really nice. If I can get that off of cooldown, 
Let me get that one skill off of cooldown. I can't tell. I don't know if it's that. Is it that skill? Um, it might be. That was like the sh that was like the shield bash after the. So if I do the throw and then I pull myself forward, it does that little shield poke with R B. You do this. That does like the that that's like a shield sweep. That's like a different shield. That's like a shield push up. It's like a little different. All right, let's try this. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Um, let's see here. Uh, I'm trying to figure out different combos with it. Let's try this. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Uh, that's like delayed. I don't think that's a that's not a combo follow-up. Hold on. Gotta, gotta hold it. Okay, let me do the thing. I don't even care about killing anything right now. Uh, that's not a combo. Well, it's a combo out of it. It's fine. I'm, it's not really a com it's not a fluid combo out of it, but that works. I'm okay with that, I mean, it's not, yeah, that, that works, I don't know, I don't know if I'd call that a combo, I mean, it kinda is, she comes up, she does the shield pull, and then she slides the shield aside, but it's not in a one fluid motion, which is fine, but, yeah, you know, for right now, that works, we'll keep adjusting and, and working on it, still trying to figure it out. Like I said, you know, 13 months, you're going to have to bear with me for a little bit here while I settle back in, and then we'll we'll get it all figured out. I wasn't, I wasn't a pro at this game when I played it every day, so we still, we still got, we still got a little bit to go. But, uh, yeah, let's cut ahead here. You guys don't need to see me talk to these guys. We'll cut ahead to Al Rundi, and then we'll probably call it an episode there. Probably about, be about time, but, uh, yeah, let's cut ahead to Al Rundi. All right, so it is Al Rundi time. I thought we'd start, we'd do, we'll do a little bit of farming here at the base before we go up there and slaughter our Rundi in about 10 seconds, but, um, I'm happy they kind of took out that weird, um, they took out that, like, weird thing that you used to have to do with that guy. I think they did, at least. Maybe you still have to interact with them after, but that thing you used to have to do with the dude that was sitting up on the ledge was so weird. What am I doing? the guy up on the ledge it was it was like an awkward thing like okay i don't know it, it was like i get the design but it was kind of like awkward to do it i guess it wasn't really like that terrible the design for the game but it was just a weird it was just a weird thing in the game i, I don't know it just felt weird because like ladder and the whole walking it just seemed really weird let's get to 27 i just completely whiffed on that thing I think this thing has, like, some insane range that it just doesn't have. And that... Oh, it did reach him. Okay, we gotta get... What did I just get hit by? That attack's the best thing, I think, that I got. That's probably the best. Okay, so there's 29... Or 27. Gosh, I can't. My mind. I'm losing my mind. My, my mind is. My mind. Okay, but yes, we got to. We got to 27, and now it's time. Let's go kill our Rundi. Kill these idiots. Run that down. I like how it like. It's got like some damage after the fact. It like goes out and cleans out. Um, it goes out and cleans out guys that are a little bit outside of the radius, and I like that. Oh yeah, I forgot, there's like the bombs on here. Yeah, when you used to have to like climb up top there, and there's that dude like sitting in the corner, that was always weird. I'm just gonna be honest. It like logically made sense, and I bet it's still there if you do like the story quest related one, but it was just kind of awkward, because it just didn't work. The movement of the game did not... It did not uh, lend itself to that. It was just kind of weird. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it was just me. I just always thought it was a little weird. All right, we're taking bets. What are we doing? Two shot? I, I bet we have to four hit him at this four hit. Well, it depends on what skill I use. 
Uh, actually, he's got a little, he's a little beefier than I thought. But nothing, nothing I couldn't take care of in just a, just a few hits. Not too bad. Okay, so Al Rundi complete. So now we advance a little bit. Okay, really, Bomb? Ruining my, my, my outro. But, so, I don't know. I don't know. I gotta decide what I want to do. I You'll find out in the next episode. I mean, there's no... I don't have to make the decision now. It's not a big deal. But I believe the next part is Bloody Monastery. I think that's where it's going to take me because of the story element. Because of what I chose. I think if I chose the regular story, it takes me to Glish and the Nagas. But I didn't. So I think it takes me up to... Bl I think it takes me like right like around here at Bloody Monastery. So... I don't know. I might, I might start next episode with that. I might just skip it all together, and we might be over in Calfian. I don't know. I'll have to decide. I'll figure it out. You guys will see it in the next episode. I think the next one of these. So this comes out Sunday. Next one of these is probably Tuesday, I guess. Tuesday, and then yeah, Tuesday. Then Wednesday is Wednesday is our um, patch notes video. So. Yeah, won't be... So probably Tuesday. Tuesday. Episode 3 of this will be out Tuesday. 5 p.m. I think that's the time I've chosen. Um, I, I think that time works. 5 p.m. Eastern. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, let me know any changes. Anything you guys want to let me know. I much appreciate anything anyone tells me pertaining anything in the game. Like shit I should be doing and all of that different stuff. So just, just let me know and I will catch you all in the next episode. Peace. Cause when it's all over, the love that you give will be there to guide you in every way. Now we've been through the cold and darkest days. The sun.